Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct on Periscope and Twitter. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A very quiet start to the weekend. A lot of activity going on across the area where it comes to graduation ceremonies and all kinds of other stuff happening across the Mid-South. Mother's Day coming up tomorrow, looking again very quiet for that. And we are going to do a very good job of keeping the temperatures up, but the rainfall chances down. And that looks really good as we go into the rest of the weekend. So it doesn't look like too much of a problem for outdoor activity. So Mother's Day, getting the yard work done, heading out to Shelby Farms, the Village Creek Star Party tonight. That's going to be something that's going to be very neat. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit as well. If you're just joining us and you've never been here before, please make certain you drop your location and your comments into the or your weather reports into the comments section so we can see a little bit more about what's going on, where you're located. We covered the areas of North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas. If if you've never been here before. So again, if you have the opportunity to check and see what's going on in the Mid-South area, we'll keep you updated on what's happening here. But if you're from out of town, definitely want to stop by and say hi. So give us an idea as to where you're located, and that'll help us again say hi to you out there for right now. Currently in the Mid-South, again, we got some very warm temperatures and should be expecting to stay that way throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit with your complete forecast. Give me just a second to get our Facebook viewers into here. Looks like the microphone is working at this point in time. Deborah J54 from Humboldt, thank you very much for a warm check-in for this morning on Periscope, and welcome to everybody else who's starting to tune in on Facebook for this morning. Again, your uh, location, city and state, country if you're checking in from parts unknown from around the rest of the world outside of the United States. Uh, give us an idea as to where you're from and let us know what the weather's like into your particular location. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see those as well. So give us an idea as to what you're seeing out there. Tweet them to me. We'll show you where that address is coming up in just a little bit. So stay tuned for more on that. Temperatures will be heading upwards over the next several hours, getting into the mid to upper 80s and possibly a few lower 90s out there. I'm thinking this might be just a little bit too cool for the Mid-South for later on today as we see some lots of sunshine coming our way and also the possibility of, again, some showers and thunderstorms out of the forecast. And with all that extra sunshine, I'm thinking we should see some much warmer, not exactly record-breaking, but not exactly anywhere near cool either. So for the rest of the day today, this afternoon, temperatures pushing 90 degrees across the Mid-South. There's going to be a few clouds drifting on through, so we'll call it mostly sunny for today. So that might just block out enough of the sunshine to keep the temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. 80s. We're going to be close enough to 90 to basically it makes no difference. It's going to be just hot, plain hot out there. Now, the southwesterly winds are what we're going to be noticing. That's going to help to keep the temperatures up throughout the rest of the day today. And that's why we're going to be about 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year. So very much on the warm side out across the mid-sub. Old Miss Track and Field Facility in Oxford, Mississippi. A decently quiet area today. Not too many people out and about, but notice we have a lot of parking spaces filling up out there. And the reason for that, commencement is taking place. The 165th commencement at the University of Mississippi for today in the Grove in Oxford, Faustin 901. Welcome to the show on Periscope. Thanks for joining us for this morning and everybody else uh, checking in on Facebook. A lot of sunshine in the Grove and with those gowns and mortar boards, it's going to be decently toasty out there for any graduation ceremony. But the winds should be light enough that they're not going to be a problem for holding that mortar board on for the entire ceremony. And likewise, we're not looking at any thunderstorms out there. So plenty of sunshine, but hopefully you brought along some extra water for any graduation ceremonies going out there. So definitely good news. And congratulations to all the graduates. And if you know any college students out there going through the process of getting their degree, Give them a word of encouragement. It's not going to cost you anything, and it might be just that boost that they need to keep going. Great way to make things better. Just a nice, kind word every once in a while to anybody who's struggling out there to get through school. So your encouragement could go a long way where it comes to things like that out there. So your opportunity to kind of make things better out there. And congratulations to all the graduates, no matter what level you are. few people out and about for a stroll. Notice, again, a few specks of the human beings across Big River Crossing over the Mississippi River, looking back toward West Memphis, Arkansas, out in the distance for today. And the Super Bowl of swine about ready to get going later this week. Tom Lee Park 
getting the tents and all the structures set up for the Memphis in May World Championship Barbecue Contest that will be starting later on. We'll be covering that and with this TV station located right back through the trees here right back around the area just north of the railroad tracks. If the winds are just right as we go toward the championship later on this week into next weekend, all that aroma goes right down the river and into our backyard, and it is a heavenly uh, scent out there if you're in the mood for barbecue. So this should be pretty good. Otherwise, looking quiet, Big River Crossing up here, I-55 traffic moving along pretty nicely, so not a problem at this location. Storm Tracker 3S radar, little if anything to show you right now. Complete and total clean sweeps across the entire Mid-South area, so decently quiet as we go throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Chances of rainfall, just not really seeing anything immediately, but as we go into, again, later on this next week, we may see the possibility of some more showers and thunderstorms, but we're just not looking at a lot of that taking place at this point in time. Here's what it looks like on the forecast. Again, throughout the rest of the day, the gray colors on screen that you see here, that's cloud cover, and we're not going to see that much of it, but there may be just enough to kind of, again, block the sunshine out, not all of it, and that means the temperatures are going to be very warm throughout the rest of the afternoon here in the Mid-South. Numbers back into the mid to upper 80s to lower 90s. Warmest will be along and south of I-40. North Mississippi, southeast Arkansas will be the toastiest today, maybe above 90 for a good portion of the day. Along and north of I-40, mainly upper 80s, but there could be some 90s out there. I would not be surprised to see that. Temperatures for lows tonight are not going to be that low, only dropping into the high 60s to lower 70s. And the moving lines on screen showing the winds from the south southwest somewhere in there moving back to the north northeast that is going to help to bump the temperatures up for tonight the temperatures are going to be very much on the warm side because of air coming in from north mexico and the gulf of mexico so that's going to increase our humidity and it's also going to bump the numbers up so for mother's day even warmer conditions out there lower to mid 90s plenty of sunshine for mom's day a couple of days ago we did have again some thunderstorms back in the forecast doesn't look to be the case for right now but we are going to be, again, watching that uh, very carefully through tomorrow. We're kind of moving out of that time of the year where we have the severe weather season, our prime severe weather season, the nastiest thunderstorms, the most powerful thunderstorms are roughly between about January and early May. From May through about roughly October, we kind of get into more of a stagnant, very hot and humid pattern, not unlike what we're seeing coming up in the next couple of days, but we still can get some powerful thunderstorms out there. So definitely want to keep it tuned to the weather experts and we'll keep you updated on what we're going to be seeing out there. Welcome to everybody who's checking in on Facebook. If you got any weather reports out there, let's see what your temperatures and your wind speeds are like out across the Mid-South. Love to see what's going on there or points beyond. And this is not the right forecast. I have no idea why this is showing up that way. I thought I had everything where it needed to be. Apologies for that. Either way, for Mother's Day today, we'll be look, tomorrow we'll be looking for temperatures back around 90 degrees. Later on this week, more showers and thunderstorms. You can have updates on the forecast coming up at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to tune in for the complete forecast there. Okay, more on what's going on with weather where the troops are. This is our own little salute. For more details about people who are on the home front watching weather for wherever their friends or loved ones may be stationed around the United States or throughout the rest of the world. And starting off with our own naval support activity in Millington, 79 degrees, a few clouds drifting on through, but otherwise not doing too bad there. Heading down into around Cuba, Guantanamo Bay, temperatures back in the mid 80s, so it's decently close to what it feels like in Guantanamo here in the mid south area. Low temperatures back in the lower to mid 70s with a few clouds out there back into portions of europe and the mediterranean some showers around pristina and otherwise partly to mostly cloudy skies across most of europe into around the persian gulf triple digit temperatures very common 111 in Doha in Qatar, 90s a little bit cooler, so to speak, back to around Kuwait, and lots of sunshine with winds a little bit on the breezy side out there. Back into Iraq, temperatures a little bit nicer, back into the 70s, some thunderstorms around Baghdad, don't usually see that marker too often in this part of the world, but some thunderstorms located here. Partly cloudy around Najaf, 72, and mostly cloudy back up around Mosul at this time. Into Afghanistan, temperatures in the 80s for the most part. 
in the western part of the country, mid to upper 50s around Kabul at the airport, Faizabad back to about the mid to upper 60s, and also some thunderstorms around Kabul and 80 degrees with rain back into the northwestern part of Afghanistan around Herat into South Korea, 50s and 60s, not seeing a lot of problem in the western part of the country and the northern part of South Korea. The eastern part of South Korea, some more rain showers, looks like some squalls coming on through, and temperatures a little bit cooler back into about the mid to upper 60s or so. And concluding our trip around the world, looking back toward Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, temperature of 76 degrees very early on Saturday morning. Looks like our winds have dropped off. We'll have to fix that for later on. But if you'd like to get more of this information on your computer system, all you have to do is go to the World Meteorological Organization and find out more. They're available at public.wmo.int if you would like to find out more about weather around the world. Great place to go to for more information into and around the area. Uh, Lori Todd, 81 degrees, Friars Point, Mississippi. Thank you very much for checking in with that weather report. If you'd like to get interested or get your kids interested in astronomy in the Mid-South, tonight's the night to do it. All you have to do is head across the river from Memphis, West Tennessee, and North Mississippi into eastern Arkansas. The Memphis Astronomical Society will be holding the Village Creek State Park Star Party tonight. That's just around Wynn, Arkansas, and that'll be 201 County Road 754 around Village Creek State Park. There'll be telescopes available to be able to look at what's going on in the night sky tonight. Again, should be decently clear, maybe a few clouds out there, so mostly clear to partly cloudy for later on tonight. Be able to observe a whole bunch of things out there. That starts at 7.15 local time tonight. So again, go out and observe. Learn more about astronomy. Great way to get your kids interested in science to see what's going on in the skies out there. A great way to talk about pollution and a great way to talk about why we need to keep our skies clear so we can do stargazing. If you'd like to know more, memphisastro.org or you can follow their brand new Twitter account at at society underscore Memphis. Again, at society underscore Memphis. You can follow along on Twitter to find out more about the Memphis Astronomical Society. Again, that's tonight, Eastern Arkansas, 7.15 p.m. We'll have more on that coming up on my Facebook page a little bit later on this evening. Can't catch up with the forecast online because you're away from your computer? Dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. And, of course, I'll be back on with Bob and Josh bright and early on Monday morning, a.m. 730 or talkbacklivenetwork.org for more information on that. More details on your complete forecast coming up a little bit later today. Stay tuned for more with the forecast with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend. Dial me up if you want to talk about what we're looking for in the way of weather or have questions about this netcast that we do here. Email me at austin.onic at wreg.com and we'd love to have you along for the ride, especially more of your weather pictures. We'll feature more of those coming up later tonight on our evening netcast and that'll start about 8 o'clock central time for those of you tuning in from outside the Mid-South or central time zone, so stick around for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This has been our mid-morning edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Stick around for a lot more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online. Thanks for joining us.